Once upon a time, a baby boy was born to a farmer and his wife. They were very proud of their new child. He was so tiny that he called him Tom Tom. Tom was very clever and helpful and very good company. He used to go and work in the fields with his father. They would load wood into the cart when it was full. Tom whispered in the horse's ear to get it home. One day, some circus people saw Tom standing in the horse's ear. That's amazing, they said to each other. He could be really useful in our circus. They offered to buy Tom from his father, but he refused. Tom, however, had other ideas. Take the money, he whispered. It will help to fill the larder. Don't worry, I'll find a way home. So Tom's father took the money and Tom rode off on the circus owner's tall top hat. As soon as they came to the circus, the man put his head on the ground. Straight away, Tom jumped off and ran away as fast as he could. Tom hid in a mouse hole. The whole circus looked for him but to no avail. Tom decided to spend the night in a snail shell. Before he went to sleep, he overheard two robbers plotting to break into a house. Tom thought that he would spoil their plan. Hello, he shouted, shouted to them. I can help you. How can a little thing like you help us? Sneered the robbers. Simple, said Tom. Just leave me up to the window and I'll throw out whatever you want. The robbers put Tom up to the window and he grabbed suddenly, suddenly through the bus. He found himself in the milkmaid bedroom. She was fast asleep. He shouted as loudly as he could to wake her up. What do you want me to steal? He called to the robbers. Any, anything special? The noise woke up the maid, but she could not see Tom. She looked out the window and saw the robbers waiting in the shadows. Picking up a broom, she chased them far into the night. At last, thought Tom, time for a rest. He found a hay loft and settled down in some dry, warm hay. Soon he fell asleep. He was woken roughly from his slumbers the next morning. It was time to feed the cow, and the milkmaid picked up the hay. With Tom inside it, a cow dropped it all up. Luckily, the cow's teeth missed Tom, but it was very cramped and dark in her stomach. He did not despair, but used a bit of hay to tickle her throat until she coughed him out. He had no sooner landed in the hay than a wolf came along and dropped him up. I'm not sure which is worse, thought Tom, the inside of a cow or inside of a wolf, but I think I can save myself a long walk. Mr. Wolf, he called out, can you hear me? Yes, I can, answered the wolf, but who are you and where are you? I'm your stomach, pretended Tom. Listen to me and I will take you to a place where you can eat and eat until I am full. All night, the wolf ran across the hill and there until it was outside Tom's house. Here we are, said Tom. Climb in through the vent and you'll find as much food as you want. The wolf ate and ate until it was morning. Time to go, shouted Tom, or they'll catch you. The wolf tried to wither out the backward, out backwards, but it had eaten so much food that it became stuck. Spit me out, thought Tom. Then you can escape, but still the wolf could not budge. All the commotion woke Tom's parents. It's a miracle! They shouted. Our boy is back. We thought you were lost. Where have you been? Well, said Tom, I've been in a mouse hole, a robber bed, a hayloft, a cow's stomach, and a wolf's belly. Which reminds me, can we? Can you help 
my friends to stay. They pull and pull until at last the wolf, the wolf came free. Let's have breakfast," said Tom's parents. "While you tell us all about it, did you enjoy your great adventure? It was exciting," Tom laughed. "But it's a very good, it's very good to be home."